accidental buttholes of reddit what's the most offensive thing you've unintentionally said or done i work as a bagger in a grocery store after finishing bagging a very old woman's order i told her to rest in peace instead of have a good night i have no idea why either she was furious this is freaking hilarious my roommate and i were hosting a party and invited friends they brought some new people who we hadn't met before and I was making introductions in the kitchen and pouring drinks. I asked a girl where she was from and she replied, New New York. I guess I was just nervous so I made a dumb joke. What is that like newer than New York? She told me that she had a slight stutter so I apologized and felt like a big joke. Honestly, I would have thought she meant the setting in Futurama. We went to the movies and the lady that takes your ticket and rips it in half did it very swiftly with just one hand. So I say wow, impressive one handed skills and walk away. When we were at a safe distance, husband tells me I failed to notice she only had one arm. Level 100 one handed. I was joking around with a man I had become somewhat friends with through him using my company. We were joking around lightly when he stopped in my office. I wasn't entirely sure why he was in that day but people stop in to see me pretty frequently. He picked on me with some casual comment about needing to get my hair cut. I dismissed it by saying it doesn't matter. End of the day I go home to my wife and she still loves me. His face soured briefly. He thanked us for our time and then he left. Right after he walked out the door my mind clicked. He was picking up some insurance paperwork from my office due to our having held his wife's funeral about 3 months prior. I was the funeral director who handled that case. I no longer joke around about family relationships with anyone. I imagine funeral directors have to walk on eggshells with all of their acquaintances all the time. Just like poultry workers. I was telling my fiancé that my aunt refused to go to Red Robin because they didn't have a smoking section. He said Betch's not going anywhere now how she's been dead for 5 years. He actually meant because everything is non-smoking now. Accidentally wrecked. When I was in middle school, a mentally handicapped kid threw a carton of milk across the cafeteria and it exploded all over some dude's shirt. He got up and yelled, what the frick, who's the freaking retard that threw that? Well uh, he's not wrong. I was in my Algebra 1 class in high school when I fricked up. This black haired girl and I used to joke around a lot. There was a stack of books in the back of the class that we used every day. I saw her pick up a book and decided to yank it out of her hands. I walked over, snatched the book with some force, and said something to the effect of this is mine now. I went back to my desk and started doing my work before I realized that I had mistaken a different girl for my friend. If that wasn't bad enough, she was the Chinese exchange student who spoke exactly zero English. She was pretty scared of me after that. My gym partner was getting ready to go to army basic training and another guy who was in the natal guard was asking him questions and giving advice and whatnot. I didn't have much to say, as I didn't serve, so I kept quiet and just listened. The natal guard guy turns to me and asks were you in at all I am admittedly not cut out for tough crap like that so without hesitation I scoffed and said I know. I went to college, I wasn't scoffing at people choosing military. I was scoffing at the prospect of me trying to get through basic training. He didn't seem to pick up on it and it kinda rolled right by. But as soon as my words were said with the tone in my voice, I realized how offensively it could have been taken. And now that I read back on this post, there has to be something worse I've said. In his eyes, you insulted yourself. But then that guy's in the National Guard. Crap on. Lied to and fricked monthly was his life. I once said to a girl I'm gonna punch you straight in the ovaries just for a laugh. It was a line I'd heard in a film. Unbeknownst to me, she had had her ovaries removed due to ovarian cancer. My friends, dating at the time, told me they got pregnant. I was all I'm so sorry. I've got a rainy day fund if you guys need some money or something. I can drive her there if you need me to. They got pregnant on purpose. Oops. The same thing happened to me. I was on break with two co-workers and then says to me hey peasant slime, Jenna's pregnant. I thought it was a joke. Oh, sorry to hear that I replied. Jen told me she was serious and wanted the baby. She miscarried a month later. Frick. Woman at work said it was cold. 
Just having watched Sixth Sense the night before I said, maybe it's a ghost she starts bawling and runs to the break room. Co-worker tells me that today is the one year anniversary of her son's murder. That's not even your fault by any means. Female flatmate, you'll never guess what I got from my personal trainer today. Me, syphilis? I don't know why I said it and the look of rage on her face still haunts me almost 10 years on. I don't get it. That seems like a pretty casual joke. Heavy for a PG crowd but between adults that's basic stuff. Was young. Found out I had BO that smells like ground beef. Friend's mom made tacos one night. Told her the kitchen smelled like my armpits. Holy crap. I thought I was the only one who thought my BO smelled like tacos. When I was in 6th grade, there was a girl who was mean to me. She later shaved her head and wore a bandana to school. I don't remember what happened but she made me really mad and I yanked off her bandana. She was of course very upset and started crying. I had no idea what cancer was other than something I heard in passing. Needless to say, I learned about cancer from the principal and her mother that day. I still feel like an butthole, though, she was the mean one but still. A bunch of people that no one knew showed up to my friend's party. When they started messing with the music, she asked them to leave. I, being a tall imposing guy, was enlisted to help boot them out. I hadn't noticed them before and wasn't aware they had been rude. When I noticed that they all shared a tray, I loudly and drunkenly asked the hostess, tell me again why you want all the black people out all were mortified and the party wrapped up pretty quickly after that. You shouldn't have thrown them out. They clearly had the friend taste in music. Just set up their own segregated party in the kitchen where they can have their own music choice. I am 90% sure they would have been happy with this. I meant to say you're nothing near ugly. You're beautiful after my girlfriend called herself ugly. What came out was you're nothing near beautiful. And at that point I just stopped and we both laughed. I love her. AWW. This made me all warm and fuzzy. I was at Lowe's checking out with a gift card. There was some remaining balance so I was going to write it right in the card. Instead of writing what remained I wrote what I spent. I was trying to do the math and the lady at the register says, just put a negative in front of it, to which I reply that's why you work at Lowe's and I don't then I laughed. Then I looked up at her and she was so offended. I really meant it sincerely that she had a better job than I do. But I sounded like an butthole. I have a bad habit of plowing over little kids, ages, 6, when I'm walking through malls. I just walk a bit fast and I don't look down as often as I should maybe. Minding my own business when, boom there's a kid flat on his butt crying. I apologize profusely to the parent afterwards. Kids please hang on to your parents. I was in the one second grade. I was pushing some younger kids on the swings at recess one day just because and this one girl, who was in my same grade, came up and asked me to push her too. She was really nice and and really tiny, not a little person, just generally a tiny and thin kid for her age. She was a little bit insecure about it though. I had been pushing kids on the swings for a while by then and my wrists were kinda sore so when I started pushing her they were already hurting and a couple minutes later I said, just absent mindedly. Wow, H. For a tiny girl you sure do weigh a lot. She stopped mid swing got off, and just walked away. It wasn't until a few minutes later I realized that in one sentence, I had simultaneously called this girl fat and short. Hannah, if you're reading this, dude bro so sorry. You just called her a dude and a bro. Just stop. She gets it. You hate her. I was recently on the phone with a woman crippled with muscular dystrophy. She works for a local computer company, so I was explaining the problem I was having with my computer. I told her that my computer problems had left me crippled. I never use that word. Why the heck did I use that word then? Two days ago I was looking for a specific house that I was checking out to possibly rent. I couldn't find it, so I was driving back and forth on this one street which, for context sake, is predominantly white. At the same time, a black student from the local high school was crossing through the neighborhood to get to his home. I'd been driving back and forth on this street for a few minutes, all the while he was walking down the same street. I finally figured maybe he would be able to help locate the house, 
so I pulled over to him and rolled down the window and said, Hey, pardon me, do you live around here not really? He replied, Oh, okay, never mind. Immediately afterward it occurred to me that he might have thought I was patrolling the street, watching him out of suspicion. Then I have the gall to ask him if he lives in the area. Crap was cringe. A couple of years ago I was talking to a woman who owns a bookstore. We were talking about a certain topic, and she said that she has a book down at the bookstore all about that topic. My immediate response was, oh, I'll just find something online. Her face kind of changed to a sour look. As soon as I'd walked away I realized how I'd put my foot in my mouth. In the second one you make a lot of assumptions of what he may have been possibly potentially thinking tbh. I was getting groceries. Unfortunately the only way I had to pay was a check so I already felt like a dong for wasting everyone's time. Then the paper bag handle rips and the clerk asks me if I want it rebagged. Since I need to carry it a ways I just say yes thanks and apologize to the guy behind me for taking so long. As I am walking away I overhear the guy say to the clerk don't listen to that guy, you're doing just fine. That's when I realize all I said to the guy was sorry about this and he thought I meant sorry the clerk is a freak up and not sorry I am taking longer than I normally would. FML I felt like a massive douche. First world butthole. I was jokingly told someone new at work was mentally handicapped. I talked to them like they were 3 for months before I realized they were just kind of quiet. Years later and I still feel like crap. And I don't talk down to anyone anymore even little kids. Learn that lesson. Oh holly. Went with my boyfriend to visit his dad's grave in winter. Had to dig the snow away from the marker stone with our hands. As we're leaving he remarks that his hands hurt. We're still in the cemetery at this point. I turn to him and say yeah, but did you die? You helped him dig out the snow from his father's grave by hand. You're a good friend, so I think you should allow yourself the luxury of not being angry with yourself over that comment. I went through this awful phase when I was a freshman in college where I was super depressed and super dependent on my boyfriend's company, we'll call him Mike, in order to feel validated. Over winter break, Mike's grandfather started declining in health. And his mother kept asking him to come home to spend time with him and the family instead of staying at my house all of the time. Being really insecure and in my head, I was incredibly selfish and pleaded with him to stay at my place. He didn't want to make me upset, so he stayed. His grandfather died while he was with me. Mike never got to say goodbye, nor was he with his family when the news was delivered. I have never forgiven myself for that, especially since removing my head from my own butt and realizing how much family matters. The relationship didn't end well and we don't speak anymore, but I wish I could go back and apologize to him and his family. I witnessed my dad being an accidental butthole in the worst way. My nuclear family, my bro, mom, dad and I, were vacationing in England with some extended family, my dad's bro and his daughter, aka my uncle and cousin, and we all decided to go to a casino. Something real quick about my dad, he is extremely well read, intelligent, and quick witted. I had never once in my entire life seen him lose an argument or get embarrassed flustered, because he always knows exactly what to say to make his opponent look like a total freaking idiot. I make a point to never frick up in front of him because he will, jokingly, never let me live it down. He loves bringing that crap up every chance he gets, and there's nothing anyone can come back with since my dad doesn't have any frick ups to exploit. So we're at this casino and my dad is teaching me how to play roulette. We had gotten into a fight a little while earlier so I wasn't really having it. He says something like I usually put my chips down on the numbers that mean something to me, like my wedding anniversary or your guru's birthdays and I said please, like you even know my birthday. This garnered a laugh from everyone else in the family and I was waiting for my dad to verbally destroy me, but he didn't say anything. He had nothing to say, he just awkwardly chuckled and changed the subject. Mind blown. Later my brother won some money by putting some chips on my birth month and date, completely coincidentally, and my dad quickly exclaims hey, good job, you won on your birthday in an effort to redeem himself. Awkward silence. So, still in a bad mood, I'm like yeah, no, that's my birthday, good try though, then my dad's brother starts ripping him apart, making up for all those years of my dad never being wrong. Like, 
just really owning him. My dad is visibly flustered, which has never happened before. The only thing my dad can come up with is, yeah, well, I have two kids, okay, it's hard to keep track when you have two. My uncle had two daughters, but one passed away when she was a toddler due to cancer. This happened a little over 20 years ago, so it wasn't a fresh wound, but still, it wasn't a big thing. Everyone got real quiet for a second and then we changed the subject and moved on. My dad didn't mean it like that. He just didn't think before he spoke, and my uncle knew that. But holy crap. What a thing to accidentally bring up. TLDR. My dad accidentally patronized my uncle for only having one child, when one of my uncle's two children had passed away. This right here. This is the best story. Two things. I was drunk and this girl I was sort of hitting on wanted me to dance with her. I hate dancing so I said no and she said even my best friend, who was there and who always wears braces for some kind of hip problem, tries to dance with me. My response was wow, he must look weird. I cringed. She cried. Another time, we left a nightclub and it was really late and I was really drunk and a little person was walking in front of us. Little people have a different gait. So I said man, even this little kid is drunk he turned around and I thought he was going to kill me. Sounds like you shouldn't drink. In 7th grade history class, my teacher was emphasizing that there would be no acceptable excuses for a late paper. Me, being the smart but that I am, asked, what if my mom dies not a single person chuckled. My teacher pulled me aside at the end of class and scolded me because a kid in class had his mother die the week before. She was a single parent. To make it worse, friends came up after class and couldn't believe I didn't know. I still think about it to this day and I get an overwhelming feeling of guilt and remorse. Hands down, the most butthole thing I've ever said. Don't feel so bad, we all know mother references are some of the most insincere statements. My best friend told me that on her 16th birthday she was going to commit suicide. The first thing I asked her without thinking, why didn't you do it? I know I waited too long to post this, but I may as well. My oldest memory is of me being an accidental butthole. I was 3 years old, listening to the teacher tell us a story or some crap. 3 year old me wasn't having this and looked for other means of entertainment. Ooh, what is this on the ground? A pebble. Whoa, it's so smooth and round. Look up at kid next to me. Hum, holy crap. I bet this pebble would fit perfectly in his ear. It did. He went to the emergency room. I went to time out. Reminds me of how I punched a kid in kindergarten square in the jaw because I was thinking about the different ways kids would cry and he was the only one I hadn't seen do it. Turned up to a mate's engagement party. A girl greeted me by name and asked how I was. I said I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, her, I'm, insert bride to be's name, thus began an awkward evening for myself. I think getting upset because someone doesn't remember your name is an butthole move, far worse than forgetting someone's name. If people don't remember you, maybe you should try to be more interesting. If I'm on the fence about someone, I'll go up and give them my name. About 75% of the time they reply oh, thanks. It was on the tip of my tongue. My name is dollar sign their name. I was merging into traffic when this wonderful human being of a driver lets me merge in front of him. I realize I should probably thank him by holding my hand up and I flipped him off instead. I'm male. I said this to a female co-worker who was wearing this really long knit sweater. Top thing. Me. That's a really nice sweater where did you get it? Her. Smiling Macy's. Me. That's great. My pregnant wife would look great in something like that. You're about the same size. She stopped smiling and walked away. Whoops. That just seems intentional. Not me but my mom. My parents coach a rec soccer team of like 12 4th grade boys. Yesterday at their game one boy was jumping in the mud. My mom said, don't jump in the mud. Mommy and daddy won't be happy if you track mud all over their car. Kid replies with my parents got divorced last year. Daddy lives in Tulsa now SND starts crying. Oops. Saying hey dude as a very masculine looking woman walked out of her car to deliver me food. Once I realized what I did my face got bright red haha I thought about how big of an butt I was as I shamefully ate my food. 
When picking out a vacation home for the summer, we found a house we really enjoyed. I call my mom over to check it out, and she looks at it. My mother is very picky about the kitchens in the houses we go to, because she gets stressed if it's too small. I call her over, and the exact phrasing I use is this. Are you okay staying in this kitchen the entire week? Every one of my siblings looked over at me and gave me the look of death. I didn't realize how sexist my comments sounded. XD. I once called a woman's recently deceased son a little drug addled neo-nazi frick in her presence. In my defense it was all true, but it did not go over well. I am intrigued by this. Do go on. My friend was asking me to hook her up with any friend of mine. At the time, the only guy I knew single liked bigger women and so I told her like this. Well T is single but only likes bigger girls. She took this as me calling her fat when I was just telling her what he likes in women. I was almost slapped. She was nowhere near fat. Playing kickball with about 8 people per team. Guy asks if he can play and if there is a position open. Without looking, I say all we need is a short stop. Said guy was a legal dwarf. Blop. Backstory. I'm the best tennis player in my school. A very cocky baseball kid walked into class. The principal, a fan of baseball, forgot to mention that a baseball game was occurring that day. The baseball kid proceedingly got mad, and I responded with you get used to it, tennis hasn't been announced all year. He grumbled and said no one care about tennis. I responded by saying you know what else nobody cares about? You. Riding the bench in junior varsity. That night he hurt his arm pitching and now requires Tommy Johns and will never throw a baseball again. TL. DR. Called a baseball kid out about how he sucks. And that night he injures his arm and now requires Tommy John's surgery. It's not your fault. He was the one being a douche in the first place. A friend's mom just died. When I saw her, I asked how she was doing. She said not great, but I'm hanging in there. My brilliant response was, hey. Every day above ground is a good one. Hey. Then I just kind of slinked off when I realized what I had done. I didn't actually say it, but I came very close. I have an obese friend. She's awesome. And we're very close. Well one day when we were working together, she told me about the pepper spray she keeps in her purse. Which according to her is so strong that if somebody gets sprayed with it. They immediately have to go to the hospital. She told me this, and I was a millisecond away from blurting. Yeah, but who would rape you? I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. It just kinda leapt into my head and I came very close to ruining a friendship. I'm sure. Thankfully I stopped myself. Yeah, rapists don't just go for the most attractive and pretty girls. That's a common mistake. They go for whoever they think will be an easy victim. Rape isn't about some sort of lack of control. Far from it. Two girls both wanted the character of Marilyn Monroe for a performance. I was brought in as a cast mediator since they weren't settling things on their own. One girl was curvaceous and really had that Monroe vibe, and the other, while pretty, was absolutely rail thin. Skeletal. Even. I told the thin girl that she shouldn't do Monroe because she didn't have the body for it. By which I meant that she was much too thin. She was really upset with me, started crying, etc. At the time I just thought she was being a diva, but I later learned that she was, in fact, anorexic, and thought I was calling her fat. I later apologized and explained my reasoning. I don't think she ever really forgave me. I still feel like an butthole. Always explain your reasoning. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.